Hey, Murray. Yeah? I just heard from the Weather Bureau. They just closed the airport. Lou is not going to Las Vegas this afternoon. Oh, Gordy, why today? Hey, why does everybody always blame me for the weather? I'm not snowing. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's just that Mr. Grant's been planning this trip for two months. Poor Lou. Good morning. Oh, hi. <laughs> What's everybody looking so down about? Oh, nothing. No, no, nothing, really. No, we were we were just uh, talking about you. You know, no, not that that depressed us. Uh, we were just, you know, talking about you're going to Las Vegas. Yeah, that'd depress anybody who had to spend a weekend in cold, snowy Minneapolis while I lie around a pool in warm, balmy Las Vegas. Got your luggage all packed and everything, huh? Mm-hmm. We're going directly to the airport from here, catching the 3 o'clock plane. I can hardly wait. Newsroom. Uh, just a moment, please. Mr. Grant, it's for you, Las Vegas, calling. Oh, that's probably Mike Cooper. He and Jack Dunn couldn't wait either. They flew out last night. Oh, Hi, Mike. You're calling from where? By the pool? By the pool? <laughs> Bring me some coffee, Mary. He'll be right with you, Mike. Maybe the airport will open up again about three. Just for a minute. Just long enough for one plane to just... You didn't. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, Mike, uh, I can't, uh, ask you the next question I was going to ask because, uh, Mary just walked in. So you answer it without my asking. <laughs> no kidding? Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Okay. I'll meet you at the pool in seven hours and 36 minutes. Yeah. They haven't been to bed yet. Uh, well, what with Hoover Dam and all those museums? Uh, Mr. Grant, uh, sit down. What? Just please, please sit down. All right. M Mr. Grant, what, what uh, would happen if for some unforeseen, you know, unknowable, impossible to imagine circumstances, you couldn't go to Las Vegas today. Mary, what are you trying to tell me? <clears throat> well, it, it has to do with snow and a, and a massive cold front and, and generally very bad weather. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> well, Gordy says the airport's closed. Get him in here. <laughs> Mr. Grant, I don't think there's anything that Get Gordy... Get him uh, in here. Uh, Gordy, uh, could you uh, step in here for just a minute? Uh, wanted to, uh, uh, well, I'll, I'll just let him tell you himself. How come he closed the airport, Gordy? I didn't close it, Lou. Your snow did. It's not my snow, Lou. You're right. I shouldn't blame you. It's not as if you could predict the weather. <laughs> Well, what could he say? He always thinks of something. I hate snow. I don't like its color. I don't like its shape. I don't like its temperature. I don't like how it feels. Or what it does. I don't like it in snowballs or on hills. I don't like anything about it. It's a soft, wet, white, mushy, melting, freezing mess. I hate snow as much as I hate anything in the entire world. Hi, guys. <laughs> Coming down out there, and isn't it beautiful? Makes you feel so good. Glad to be alive. Grateful to be living in this wonderful winter wonderland. <laughs> no? I hate snow. Who doesn't? 
Hey, Mr. Grant, it's, it's not the end of the world. No, Mary, it's not the end of the world. I could live with that. <laughs> hey, Lou, why don't you get up a poker game? Oh. How can a poker game take the place of a weekend in Las Vegas with the boys? In the sunshine, around the pool. You want to play? <laughs> sure, I'll play. Murray? Uh, no, thanks. All right. It's better than nothing. Mary, you set it up. We'll play here at the studio, get an early start. We'll need six people. Uh, use my card file. I see a round table, cards, chips, ice, drinks. Cards, chips, ice, round table, mm. six players. Mm. I'll play, Lou. Anything to get out of that rotten snow. <laughs> huh? I'll play. Play what? Whatever it is you're going to play. It's poker, Ted. For oh. money. Oh. Well, I, I've got some extra change. <laughs> Not change, Ted. You need dollars in this game. Dollars. Okay. You got Gordy and me so far. Uh-huh. Marie, you don't want to play? No, it's not my game. Is this uh -huh. enough, Lou? <laughs> That's enough. How come when you order a sandwich sent in, they always send you the wrong thing? I don't know, but got my order wrong, too. I order a ham and cheese on rye, got a roast beef on white. <laughs> I think it's clearing up. <laughs> Maybe the airport Mr. will... Grant. I know. I know. I know. How's my game coming, Mary? Oh, well, I got Pat, your bartender, so mm -hmm. that's uh, four so far. How about Harvey Ames? Uh, Dr. Ames is at the hospital. Well, have you tried him there? He's in the operating room. Oh, they have phones in operating rooms, Mary. Use a little muscle. If you can't get six, I'll settle for five, but no less. Okay, uh, Mr. Grant, what do you want for drinks? Uh, scotch and water. That's it? Just scotch and water? It's three kinds of drinks. Scotch, water, and scotch, scotch and water. water. <laughs> Wait, uh, what about food? All right, get a little of that. <laughs> Murray, you sure you don't want to play? No, thanks. Newsroom. Oh, hi, Wally. The production department does have a round table? Great. Listen, could you bring it up here? Uh-huh. Well, no, I guess it'll have to be all right if that's the only one you can find. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Well, Wally says the only round table we have is the one they use for the children's birthday parties on the King Artie show. You mean we're gonna have to play poker in King Artie's castle? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you're sure you don't want to play? Uh, no, no thanks. Besides, I promised Maria I'd be home early tonight. Just seems like it'd be fun, you know, all the guys playing poker. <laughs> you still playing tonight, Gordo? Oh, I wouldn't miss it for the world, Ted. There's a uh, three of a kind beat a flush. <laughs> Other way around. A three of a kind does beat two of a kind. Right. <laughs> What's a kind? <laughs> like I was falling asleep. And what's wrong with that? Huh. Then I remembered. This is how you feel just before you freeze to death. <laughs> hey, kid, uh, can I plug in here? Yeah, you can go and try it anyway. I think I'm overloaded now, though. Okay. <sighs> hey. Oh, the wiring in this building is only a little better than the heating system. <laughs> Give me 
a real feeling of power. <laughs> I wonder if I'm doing this to all of Minneapolis. <laughs> hey, listen, just don't get carried away, will you? I really think we're living dangerously here. Yeah, you're right, kid. Okay, now I got it on five. You think five's okay? Five is good. Good, good on five. <laughs> listen, when you knocked, I was thinking of putting some turnovers into the oven to get all crispy and warm. Oh, yeah, that sounds really good. Okay, they should be ready to eat in about 20 minutes. Eat them? I thought we were going to wear them. <laughs> hey, could you get that for me? Okay, Mia. Whoever it is, I'm inviting them in. We'll huddle together and share our body heat. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, Marie. Rhoda, you remember Marie? Of course. Marie's wife. And a fine person in her own right. <laughs> Thank you. Mary, I am so upset. I have been all over town. I've called everyone I know. I even called the police. Marie, what is it? I can't find Murray. I was hoping he was here with you. Oh, no, Murray's not here. Oh, thank goodness. Wait, no. <laughs> He's down at the station. No, Mary, he isn't. He called to tell me that he was working late. Uh -huh. So I went down there to take him a sandwich because I thought he might be hungry. And the guard let me in, but there's nobody in the office. Oh, and Marie, no, no. He's down in Studio E with Mr. Grant and Ted and Gordy. Oh, oh, it's so good. Oh, you silly. Come on in and thaw out a little oh. while. Uh, Marie, uh, do you have that sandwich on you? Oh, yeah. Here, Rhoda. <laughs> hey, girls, how about some hot coffee? Great. What are the guys working on so late? Oh, they're not working. They're playing poker. Poker? Mm. Oh, no. What? Well, Mary Murray is a compulsive gambler. I mean, once he gets started, he just can't stop. Didn't you know that? What? Marie, how would I know that? Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Anyway, I shouldn't take it out on you. I should take it out on whoever got him in that game. Who got him in that game, Mary? I did. <laughs> Your deal, Pat. Hey, this is fun. Why do I do this every night? Put it in, Annie. Ted. Andy? Oh, I thought I did. Sure, I, Andy. Well, that was the last hand, Ted. Oh, wait a minute, Lou. I mean, I'd want to Andy this hand. You gotta Andy, Ted. It's like saluting the flag. <laughs> what do you say when you don't want to bet anything? Check. Well, that's interesting. I wonder who thought of the word Czech. Must be from a foreign language or something, like Czechoslovakia or... Czech! Czech, Czech, Czech. Check, check, check. 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 Open for a dollar. I'm in. I call. Not this time. Not this time. You should try playing, Ted. Maybe you'll enjoy it. <laughs> Just bide my old time. Man. I'm in. Two cards. Two cards. One. One. Three. Three and two to the dealer. Don't hey, tell anyone, honest. You let Murray look. Okay, Lou. Five bucks. See you, Lou. Four jacks. Take it. Murray, why'd you stay? Well, I figured Ted didn't know what he saw. Illegal gambling, you're all under arrest. Hi, Hi guys. Mary. Hi, Mary. <laughs> what is it, Mary? Oh, nothing, nothing. I just happened to be in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd drop in, see how things are going. So, how are things going? Well, I'd like to stop and socialize, but my main function in this game is coming up. Ante. <laughs> okay, uh, what'll it be, boys? Um, let's see. No peaky low ball? <laughs> Spit in the ocean? Or baseball? I want to play seven card stud. Seven card stud. The threes and nines are wild, and one eye jacks are black queens. <laughs> but if you get a four up, you get an extra card down. <laughs> talk to you for a minute, uh, privately. Mary, to talk to you privately, I have to be dealt out of a hand. Yeah, but Mary... Why don't you write him a note and let Ted deal it to him? <laughs> Check. 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 
Is this your chip or mine? I think it's mine. <laughs> How's it going, Murr? Well, not too good. What, what does that mean in, uh, you know, money? Well, I'm only about 20 ahead. Oh, well, that's great. You're ahead. You want to know what I'm doing, Mayor? I'll tell you how he's doing. <laughs> he hasn't played a hand all night. And he's winning. <laughs> Check. Now, cost you a dollar. How's the food holding out? Fine. Nobody's touched it. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what we do. Why don't we all go out and get some pizza? You just finish up this hand, and, and then we'll all go out and get some pizza. What do you say, huh? <clears throat> uh, I have a better idea, Mary. Why don't you go out and get a pizza and take it home with you? <laughs> bet. I bet a dollar. Murray, would you like a lift home? I'd be happy to do that. I'm going right by. I can take you right to your door. To your... I could do that. I would. I would. Murray, I would. Uh... You're banished from this kingdom. <laughs> Are you sure you don't no, want to No, thank you, Mary. Home? No, thanks. Say goodnight, Mary. Goodnight. Goodnight, Mary. Goodnight, Mary. Goodnight, Mary. Hey, who's going to bet? There's so many wild cards, I don't know what I got. Fold. All I got is six tens. <laughs> take it, take it. <laughs> Mary, listen, I was thinking... Good night, Goodnight, Mary. Mary. <laughs> Deal for me. <laughs> okay, we'll play five card draw. Draw, good. All right, let's sit down and play some real poker for a change. None of this wild card junk. I'm with you, Lou. <laughs> Check. Check. Did everybody ante, Lou? <laughs> I was just going to. Uh, well, open for. Ten. <laughs> I'll see you, ten, Ted. Raise you. Twenty. <laughs> I know what's happening. You're... bluffing. <laughs> it cost you twenty to find out. I think I'll take my ten back. <laughs> He can't do that, Ted. <laughs> what do you think of these cards, Lou? It's a very good hand, Ted. A very good hand. You could win big with that hand. Okay, I'll call you 20. Now raise it 20. On the other hand, you could lose me. <laughs> After I was banished. Who won? Well, Mary, there's something you have to remember about poker. What's that? It doesn't matter who wins. It's being involved in a group activity with people you like. And Ted. Morning, Mayor. Morning. Uh, Mr. Grant lost, didn't he? A little. About $45. How'd you do? You were about $20 ahead when I left. Uh, I lost. The whole 20? Well, plus a little more. H how, how, li how little altogether? Uh, about uh, $375. 375 Can't win them all. <laughs> Murray, if you lost and Mr. Grant lost, who won? Hi, guys. <laughs> Got my loot, Murray? You'll get it, Ted. <laughs> you tell me about it, Mayor? I was just going to tell her, Ted. Mayor, the klutz got lucky. <laughs> I'm ready to accept payment in full, Mer. Bank doesn't open till 10. Oh, no, all right. I won't push it. See you about 10 15. <laughs> Murray, if you had to lose, why did it have to be the Ted? Well, maybe it's a blessing in disguise. You see, I, I used to have this gambling problem, Mary, but it's all over now. And getting in that game, it all came back to me. What a terrible thing it is. I'm never going to play again. Never, really. The only trouble is, I don't know how to get the money out of the bank so Marie won't find out how much I lost. 
Well, how are you going to get the money? I found the game for tonight. Oh. <laughs> All I need is a little stake because I feel real lucky. I mean, I'm under no compulsion to play, Mary. It's just that I need the money to pay him back. Mm -hmm. And how are you going to get the stake for the game? All I need is one simple bet. One short thing. Bank's open in ten minutes, Murray. Ted, why do you keep bugging Murray for the money? Because I need it. Why? Because he owes it to me. <laughs> Japan announced today that there would be further devaluation of the yen. The speculation some months ago about Japanese Minister of Finance. It deco kawas. Sucky. <laughs> Ted, how'd you like to go for double or nothing? No, no, Murray, I will not let you. I'm going to call Marie. I swear I will. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait a minute. What, what, what do you mean, double or nothing? Well, if you blow that name, uh, Ideko Kawasaki, on the air tonight, we're square. If not, I owe you $750. That's $750, Ted. Oh, no, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. <laughs> if I this, say this name tonight and don't make a mistake, you'll owe me $750? And if you blow it, we're even. Well, let me get this straight again. <laughs> you got it straight, Ted. <laughs> I know it's so easy. <laughs> Look, your deco Kawasaki? Must be a trick. <laughs> no trick. But when that light goes on, that little camera tonight, you'll blow it. <laughs> now, that's a direct challenge to my ability to read a simple sentence. Right. <laughs> You're wrong. Deco Kawasaki. Deco Kawasaki. Deco Kawasaki. So, why aren't you calling Marie? Because I'm not sure this is gambling. Hideko Kawasaki. <laughs> and the mayor made that statement today at a meeting of the city council. So much for the local scene. On the international front, Japan devalues the yen. That story in a moment, right after this commercial sausage. <laughs> Big mistake so far. You got the, the law of averages are against you. I have faith. He'll make seven. Hideko Kawasaki. <laughs> You're gonna blow it, Ted. You're gonna blow it. Not tonight, we're Kawasaki, Kawasaki, Kawasaki. <laughs> He's gonna get it right. Gordy, 50 bucks he gets it right. Murray, will you stop that? <laughs> I know I'm crazy. The international financial scene was enlivened today by several developments. The most important story comes from the Far East. Japan announced today that there would be a further devaluation of the yen, as speculated some months ago by the Japanese Minister of Finance, Hideko Sawakaki. <laughs> Did I just hear Ted say, damn? Yeah, yeah. On the air? Yeah. <laughs> Why should Ted care if they devalue the yen? <laughs> Why is he crying? This is Ted Baxter saying good night and good news. Hideko Kawasaki. 